What's up guys? How are you feeling today? Now I'm not so far away from Vedenha Park which is one of the most famous and beautiful in all Russia and I really would like to visit this park and show everything there what you can visit in this park also next to this place there is a museum of space and I really hope I can visit it now because when I was a kid it was just awesome so I want to see how it would be now and to show everything here so please continue watching it First things at first, I had a breakfast at the cafe and god I miss it so much because the cafe started opening just a few weeks before. And later I walked along the Prospect Mirror which is one of the most famous avenues in Moscow and came to the park of the Cosmonautics Museum. This museum is one of the most famous museums in Moscow. It is dedicated to space and was opened 39 years ago for the 20th anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's spaceflight. It's worth noting how proud the people in Russia that the first person to fly into space was a Russian. Yuri Gagarin is very revered in the country and you can see a lot of things that dedicated to space. The building that you can see behind me is, I think, one of the most famous or maybe the most famous here museum in Moscow, Cosmos Museum. Uh, there is spa, I think there should be a restaurant and I mean, view is amazing. Only tomorrow, come on, in the internet there was information that it's already open. Anyway, maybe I will have time to go tomorrow and to show you everything here, but oh, I'm so sad. Do you see this monorail? My granddad was making this monorail and yeah, I'm telling this to everybody, I'm so proud. Here we are in the main entrance of Vedenha Park and Omk, it's so beautiful. It was actually reconstructed one year ago and now the building and the entrance looks amazing. And also I wanted to tell you an interesting fact that for many years the Vedenha used to be like attraction park. It was super beautiful. When I was a kid, um, in summer I was going there all the time. There was like similar to London Eye here, the biggest in Russia. But then, few, around three, maybe five, three years ago, they said that the, all the attractions were built illegally here and they took it off. That's a shame. Really, that's a shame. I mean, it was reconstructed now, it's still beautiful, but it used to be so fun here. So kind of sad but as i understood they are going to build a new attractions so different from winter here really i have a video about unique places of moscow when my greek friend emma came to visit me and we visited this park in winter and uh, completely different i don't know what i like mom try to see it and tell me what you think Firstly, I walk to work and co-host women's culture. This is a monument of two figures with a sickle and a hammer raised over their heads. This culture is an ideal and symbol of the Soviet area, recognized as the standard of socialist realism. Later, we are going to that place. Not on the top, but near. Oh my god, it's used the morning, really super enjoyable. Honestly, I'm so surprised about this and I've seen this place before. Mm, it really looks amazing. So enjoyable to take coffee and just sit here, but I don't have so much time and I wanted to show you the most. If you want to make a really good picture, always go to a young Russian woman. Always. She will make the best picture of you. <laughs> 
In the video that I made in winter, I told you more about Wednesda, what is the park and everything. Now I want you to feel this atmosphere of Moscow Summer Park. Speaking of buildings on the center square of Wednesda, they are really amazing and I won't stop admiring them, but it's worth noting that they are not so beautiful inside usually. Everything is in flowers. Oh my gosh, first time I see this. This year, I don't know, it's super beautiful, guys. I really advise you to come here in summer, in winter. It's amazing, really. Right there on top of the moon, we could sit and do nothing. I wish we were both to just fly away I don't wanna care It's being I'm good alone I'll be okay, miss you like an old friend of mine Too scared now, thinking I should call up on my There are hundreds of these buildings that can be museums, galleries, uh, a lot of things. Uh, and there are hundreds, you can visit all of them, but you can at least see them outside and it's really nice perspective. So now we are walking with you from Vedenha to Astankina Park because it's combined. And then we'll see Astankina Tower, Bar Tower TV Tower. <laughs> How gorgeous is it? Also behind this building there is a forest where you can also walk, rent a bike and drive there. Enjoyable, really enjoyable. I think this building was a hotel but now, if I'm not making a mistake, it's close to Radium. And also they built this building, uh, it's like business center. <laughs> I mean, it's not really combined but it's okay. So what I wanted to tell you that the Venenha is huge. And don't stay only in the main square with the main buildings. Don't stay there. Try to walk around because there's so much more to see. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. It's been way too long. If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would When nothing really matters It's so nice for me to see this place like this, so beautiful So, I don't know, modern Because actually I live in not so far away from here And when I was like a kid, teenager I always take a bike, it's around 40 minutes by bike And here I am But it wasn't that beautiful like it's now Now I saw one bridge in the forest. Okay, we will take a look there and oh my god, really everything is so changed here. I am in shock because I've been there, but not exactly in this area for the last two or three years. But now really oh my gosh guys, Vedanha must see in Moscow. Even if you're gone, I won't forget you. You're all I know what I need and that ain't changed. Beside you, I would, 
That's all I want. Here is the Stankina TV Tower and these buildings, there are TV shows and some movies being recorded. Super nice. I have such great memories of this place because when I was a kid, my granddad and I always, I don't know, a few times, maybe per month sometimes, we were coming here and we were racing a boat and we drive here. I really amazing memories. Everything is okay with my granddad. <laughs> Just to don't spend so much time together as it used to be. And also speaking about this tower, you can go up. It will cost you around 1,000 1, rubles with a tool for one hour. Uh, I've been twice. It was okay. In winter, I don't advise you because sometimes it's really cloudy mostly. So the view wouldn't be so great. And also it will be white, um, like gray white. Um, don't really advise you, but in summer, yes, it will be really interesting. So, but also you can go to Moscow Business Center to shisha bar, to restaurant, and you can chew there and don't pay for entrance because here you have to pay. So, really nice place. I hope that you are safe and that I will see you soon. If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would. Later I took a tram home and then returned the next day to visit the museum. New reality guys, I can't enter a museum without a mask. So, and now you can buy only online tickets because they, in all museums, as I understand, they want to uh, enter only per, like certain percent of people, so there's going to be no crowd to our safety, and it's okay. And yes, it, I got a sale for, as a student, they didn't check my student ID. I will immediately say that all employees were wearing protective masks and cleaning museum. As it one of the most famous museums here in Moscow, all the time there are so many people and now there's almost no one. I mean, it's really nice now walking here. Uh, also, I would like, if I were you, I would take a tour here because when I was a kid, we took a tour and it was interesting. And now, yeah, everything like I remember in my childhood. Also, when you enter the museum, there is some machine where you can try like, uh, visualization like you in space it was also nice and not expensive my ticket cost 150 rubles for students for adults i think it's gonna be twice more so not so much and worth it the museum is really interesting here you will learn how space exploration began perhaps it's more suitable for children but i think adults will also not regret visiting it Друзья, спасибо большое, что смотрели это видео. Надеюсь, вам понравилось. И увидимся в новых видео. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just kidding. I said that thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it was interesting to you. Because Venice is amazing. This museum is also really interesting. And come to Moscow to see it yourself. If you like this video, don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you guys.